Hello, Culture Matters Podcast. We are in 30 Days of Thought, page 45, writer's block. I think this is relevant because of Ben Franklin's quote, the art of living in yesterday, destroying today. Wait, no. The art of living in yesterday, avoiding today, and destroying tomorrow. That's it. Procrastination is the art of living in yesterday, avoiding today, and destroying tomorrow. That's what I think about when it comes to writer's block. I've recognized it myself, this self-sabotage, to put something off when the stakes are high, to overthink, to second guess. It was uh, Munger that said, Charlie Munger, never underestimate those that overestimate themselves. Now, if that's the case, those that overestimate themselves, that could that could infer that the world is run by people or there's an advantage for those that think less and do more. Now, there's got to be some value in the sense of not overthinking and having the courage to act, but there's also some senselessness in not thinking and overacting or not, not over, over, overacting. Yeah, oh, not thinking will negate culture because part of culture is dialogue. Part of dialogue is free expression. If I'm afraid to say what I think, how can I think? And so not thinking isn't something we want to promote. At the same time, overthinking isn't something we want to promote. I know that I, I don't want to just throw away my common sense or throw away my conscience in the, in the spirit of getting things done. So what's the solution? What's the answer? I'm still working on that myself, but I can recognize in myself that arguing for I'm, I'm, what I'm not going to do, especially on this episode, is argue for my own irresponsibility around not getting things done that were that could make my life and those around me better. I've recognized that I, I've self-sabotaged, and maybe you have too. Maybe you can relate to this by putting things off that were of high importance, by convincing myself that I could that doing something else is 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 more appropriate at that time. Writing is one of those things that's easily put put off. And so writer's block, I'm going to read here. Hopefully that inspires you to get something done you're avoiding, whether that's writing something or just getting something of high order done that's going to better you and improve your life. So here we go. Writer's block, page 45. A mental dam meant to break. Unlike the purest of liquids, Water holds itself safe for our keeping and the utility of consumption. A mind full of thoughts unable to flow out becomes toxic quickly. You see, the mind can be a very dark place when everyone is home. All your ideals, fears, hopes, and dreams refusing to let themselves out on your paper, but cooped up inside your cortex Arguing for attention. Focus is impossible. Stress is indefinite. And anxiety is seemingly the only outcome. There, When there is a dam in your mind holding back your genius, you have awakened through self-exploration and no new life may be born from the ideas festering within you. This is the anti-spiritual non-organic, biologically unacceptable, psychologically misaligning, the catalyst to your new next genius exploration, the storm to your rainbow. There are no positive outcomes if thoughts stay caged and are unable to flow. Therefore, do not give up nor give in. The mental dam you may be absorbing serves a purpose. This may come to you as a light warning that if you break your, quote, culture oath to read, write, and speak every day, 
this may happen to you too. When culture is not upheld and your thoughts remain in your mind for too long, you may find yourself feeling down and sometimes even a little crazy. This is writer's block. Stay true to your heart and be persistent with your mind. Your mind will only love you more for it. And that is beautiful. That is creation. There's something therapeutic about journaling. It's a meditation about writing. I know. And, and that's one of the points that I'm trying to get across to you, the listener, or you, the reader, the thinker, but and as well as myself, processing the difficulty of being tasked with being honest with myself and vulnerable in this pursuit to read, to think, to write, to develop, to listen to hear what is unsaid, to speak, to let go. Your mind will only love you more for it. And that is beautiful. That is creation. So here are some thoughts. Write down what I must do. Write down what I must not do. And do the former. It helps me to get clear on what it is that I don't want to be putting my time into. So that I can focus on the things that must get done. Because Sometimes I'll trick myself to thinking that doing something else is actually appropriate when in fact that something else is a distraction for some task that I'm avoiding because it's, 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 there's a, there's this, there's a fear. There's, there's an anxiety in the responsibility to get that important thing done. And I'm entitled not to get it done because no one's forcing me to do it. It's just me against me. I'm the one that gets to decide. Now, of course, the longer that I'm acting out entitled or from a, a perspective of entitlement, the greater the consequences are going to be. I will not be able to lie to myself forever. I will not be able to get away with not doing what I'm supposed to be doing forever. I, I will not be able to get away with being irresponsible forever. The consequences will catch up to me and they have caught up to me uh, You know, in a very simple sense. If I've got this new book that it's not going to write itself, the consistency of writing is going to get it done. Whether it's an article for a magazine or it's a new book like the CEO manual or whether it's our client, uh, like client partner work, whether that's an analysis for a company, a culture puzzle, a recap, a leadership collaborative dialogue for a team meeting. These things take tremendous amount of energy and thought and time. And sometimes I just want to crawl into a fetal position and scream. And that's when I know I need to just do it. A mental dam meant to break. Unlike the purest of liquids, water holds itself safe for our keeping and the utility of consumption. A mind full of thoughts, unable to flow out, becomes toxic quickly. Nietzsche, right? Truth unspoken becomes poison. Whether you're, re you're writing, whether you're talking, like I am with you right now in this form, or it's a conversation amongst your peers about what you think needs to get done for the business, or your, or your authority, your, your employer, your boss, what you think is best to get done for your work. Say what you think, mean what you say, keep reading the thing, keep writing to develop, keep listening to what's unsaid. Pursue your 30 days of thought, and I will see you next time. The Culture Matters Podcast. Please leave us a review.